Hey loves, welcome to day 40 of the last 90 days of the year video journals. Sheila here from madamebay.com where we talk about everything weight loss, wellness, healing naturally, healthy recipes and lifestyle. In today's video, today I'm also answering a question. I think these days I've decided to take some time to answer all your questions and today's question comes in from you Linda. Linda responded to this video over here where I was talking about how to reduce cellulite and she said um, she just has one question for me I have two children 11 and 15 please help me how to reduce stretch marks so this is particularly a topic I'm so happy to talk about personally because I did have stretch marks and of course if you're overweight you have stretch marks because what is stretch marks stretch marks just simply means your skin tearing from stretching too much but one thing you need to know is Prevention is always better than cure. It's always easier to deal with such things in the start than after they've already been there for a while So I'm going to answer this question the best way possible by answering for those who haven't yet gotten but are scared They're gonna get them and for those that already have them like me So when you get stretch marks, there are so many different places you could get stretch marks You could get stretch marks on your boobies. You could get stretch marks on your arms I actually have stretch marks on my arm here, but they go, they're going and then you could get stretch marks on your hips on the side of your thighs and then some in, even in between the thighs and some people get them on the knees so or behind the knees actually so those are different places you could get stretch marks now when it comes to stretch marks there are two kinds of stretch marks there is dark stretch marks which if you are white or a little bit light skinned yours are a little bit red or purple and then they're a little bit darker for black people so those dark stretch marks are the first phase of stretch marks and if you have stretch marks at that phase it's so much easier to deal with them at that stage than when they turn white because when they turn white it's kind of like they've blended in with your skin and now you have to like work extra hard to get them going for me i personally have stretch marks right now but because i lost weight and because i take care of myself they've kind of faded away of course they're more to the white side because i started taking care of them after they had gone but they've kind of blended in with my skin and before I even tell you these tips, the first thing I want to tell you is that you have to learn how to love and accept yourself the way you are because if you don't, you're going to have very many body issues and I feel like stretch marks are part of you, especially if you have kids, if you've had kids and you have stretch marks, sometimes I feel like you need to be proud. I know there is these stretch marks that are very uncomfortable but first you have to learn how to love yourself and be comfortable with what you have because it makes you unique those stretch marks especially for people that have had kids that is a mark of your child on you i don't know i feel like it's special and some stretch marks are actually like an art piece so if you have stretch marks find a way to love your body because you know that is your body now let's talk about what causes stretch marks i already kind of mentioned the things that cause stretch marks one um stretch marks are caused by gaining weight when you gain weight your skin tears which causes those marks that you see that turn out as stretch marks the second thing that causes stretch marks is hormonal imbalance pregnant women have hormonal imbalance so they get stretch marks or if you're undergoing puberty you might get stretch marks and uh, the third thing i can say that causes stretch marks is lack of vitamins and proteins so how can you prevent and cure stretch marks the first tip i have for you of course is food related because i talk mostly about food is eat foods rich in vitamins proteins but mostly iron because iron helps in the creation of collagen and collagen is really good for your skin what kind of foods are those you ask you could eat fish beans chia seeds nuts and so much more there's so much food that you can eat you should also focus on eating foods with fatty acids because it's also good to help your skin moisturize from inside and not the outside so when you eat foods with fatty acids they help from the inside and what foods can that be again salmon avocado egg yolk and all that stuff is really good for you because all of this is not just on top everything is connected and in order for you to take care of your outside you have to take care of the inside first the second tip I have for you today is make sure your skin does not dry out you have to make sure your skin is always moisturized because the more it's not moisturized the more it scars and scars actually you know what those stretch marks that turn white from the darker color those are scars from the actual stretch marks that's why they're really harder to take away so in order for you to take those away maybe you can use scar creams I'm not going to recommend any because I haven't tried any however what I personally use to stay moisturized is shea butter I use a lot of shea butter from Uganda and then because I'm Ugandan and we have like organic shea butter but you can also use 
a lot of share but i'm actually going to recommend some because there is some from canada that i buy i'm going to leave links to that in the description box below you can get yourself some shea butter you can also use coconut oil coconut oil is great it's really great for scars and wounds you find that a lot of times when you get burns and stuff like that they tell you to put coconut oil because it helps heal the scar much faster so coconut oil is really good another thing that is really good is cocoa butter there is palmer's butter i don't know if you know that but that is like the most common thing most people use for stretch marks mostly because it has vitamin a and e which brings me to my third point use oils or stuff on your skin that has vitamin a and vitamin e also you can get like supplements for vitamin a and vitamin e because these help uh, produce more collagen which is helpful for the skin my next tip tip number four is use scrubs and exfoliates now you can do natural scrubs and exfoliates i actually have a video on it i'm going to leave a link to it above feel free to check that video out because i was talking about cellulite let me first tell you the difference about cellulite and um stretch marks cellulite is basically fat stuck under your skin but uh, stretch marks are scars on your skin so do not confuse these two however these body scrubs will be helpful for both of them so when you do the scrub it helps loosen the fat under the skin and helps uh, the body fluids move faster but exfoliating your skin is also going to help you with stretch marks you can do a sugar scrub you can do a coffee scrub there are so many different scrubs you can do and if you'd like me to do particular videos on that just let me know in the comment section down below and i'll be sure to make you a full video on any of those things but you can still check out the video i mentioned earlier because i did a full body scrub that is going to be of help to you tip number five stay hydrated i do not know how many times i talk about hydration that's why i created the 28 day free hydration challenge if you guys want to do it yourselves i'm not doing it currently right now but i should because my water intake is terrible i will let you guys know when we are doing that again but just stay hydrated because when you stay hydrated you are feeding your skin and stretch marks thrive when it, your skin is dry so when you drink water you prevent your skin from being dry which in turn helps with preventing stretch marks okay the next tip is something i haven't tried myself but i did some research on it and apparently it works it's apple cider vinegar what they say that you do for apple cider vinegar i haven't tried this one i'm just telling you you should try it yourself and maybe it will work for you what you do is get apple cider vinegar just make sure the portion is one to one one to one simply means the same portion of apple cider vinegar and the same portion of water and then put it on the area of your skin that has stretch marks after putting it just wrap it and wrap it with like cling film or something like that and just keep warmth on it for like 10 to 15 minutes and then after that take it off do that every day and then it will help reduce the stretch marks the next tip i have for you is using egg whites why should you use egg whites well egg whites are really rich in vitamins which help in collagen production which is also good for your skin like we mentioned earlier and they also help to tighten the skin which is really good to prevent stretch marks so if you have stretch marks or like you're at an early stage of stretch marks it's good to put that there so that it just tightens up that skin and not cause scars or actually this is a prevention mechanism if you feel like you're starting to get stretch marks put that there before the stretch marks start to create you know so those are my tips for preventing and reducing stretch marks i personally use most of them i only don't use two i've never done the egg white thing and i haven't done the apple cider vinegar thing but everything else i personally practice do not forget that it's important for you to take care of your skin from inside out so as much as you do the outside stuff take care of your skin uh eat healthy stay active because staying active helps the blood move properly and if the blood is moving properly your skin thanks you for that hence no stretch marks so i hope you found this video helpful and if you did do not forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel also if you have any questions related to weight loss wellness personal development and whatever it is that you want me to talk about please feel free to leave your comment in the comment section down below i will make a video on it and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i'm dedicated to showing up every day for you guys to make sure that you put in the work get the weight loss results you want and be the best version of yourself as always not forget to stay motivated be patient trust the process and spread the love i will see you tomorrow bye for now